this is Gloria Coppola from Massage Pro CE. Join me for some teaching tips and tools for those of you that are new to the teaching profession in massage or those of you that just need a little support and encouragement. This is one of my pet peeves. The teacher-student relationship. The only relationship that should be there is between you and the student as their instructor. It is not for you at all to be involved in their personal life to see them after school hours, to go out for a cup of coffee, to talk about your personal life with them. That is a definite boundary issue. That is crossing the boundaries. You are there to guide them, to teach them, and only do that. You are not there to be their friend. So if you're the type of instructor that starts finding yourself in relationships with your students, that's right, I'm talking about you. Not good, okay? That student, is going to always be counting on you for everything. And when you do have to take a stand if something happens, it's not going to be a good relationship because you're going to find it hard, number one, to address the situation. And then they're not going to like you anymore, and they're going to be sitting in class being really disgruntled. So that's not good. You're also going to find that other students, whether you realize it or not, they don't like it. And they're going to think there's favoritism. And you might say, but you know what? They don't know. I'm doing this after hours. Nobody knows. You want to know what? They do know. They can see the energy between two people and the dynamics that's playing off two people. And they're going to feel like the ones left out. And they're not going to respect you anymore. If you want to be friends with one of your students, wait until they're done with the program. I've had a lot of wonderful people in my trainings, lots of them, that, oh my gosh, they could be my best friend. And they would ask me, you want to go get a cup of coffee? You want to go see a movie? And I'd say, you know what? I would absolutely love to after you graduate. And many of those people did become my friends. But not while you're their instructor. You must maintain your boundaries so that you have the respect with your students. Because you know what? The teachers that don't do that, I have seen them be the ones that contact me and say that they're having problems with the students in their class. And they don't understand why. Well, you know what? It might just be because they're picking up on your favoritism for somebody else. So take a look at that and remind yourself, keep your clear boundaries with your students. Thank you for joining me today.